What's up, y'all? It's your favorite life and business coach, Reflection Deep, and welcome to the channel. As you guys know, we have three different channels. We have three or more channels, um, so this is why we say welcome to the channel, but thank you for joining and watching today. Um, I wanted to do a reaction to a video um, from Young Easy uh, regarding this prank that, that um, Josh from the Family Project had did in her a few days ago, and I think it posted yesterday, and Easy's actually responding to it today. And if you guys are know who Young Easy or Josh is, you guys gotta do your research. You know what I'm saying? I'll have some information. I think if you guys are watching this video, you guys are gonna see other videos from them. If that's how the algorithm works, so you guys will know what's going on. Um, and so, uh, I am a, a Young Easy supporter, and so I am part of her text gang. So when you're part of her text gang, then she pretty much texts you before the videos are published publicly. So I started to see, uh, when I saw the video, I didn't know what it what it was, and I was headed for the shower. So um, I, I I didn't know what was gonna happen. So I kind of waited, and then I got out of the shower, got dressed, and I hit play, and I started hearing what she was talking about. And she's mad, she's heated. Um, so we are gonna watch it together. We're gonna do a reaction video about it. Now I I started watching it, and I kept pausing it through. You know, I kept pausing it because I'm like, I think I should do a reaction video. And normally, I have the family with me. Normally, I have Ebony with me. I have Nala with me. And Nala's actually upstairs watching it as well. So she may just pop in at some point. <laughs> um, but, you know, the reason why this is a conversation piece is because if you're, you've been in a relationship with someone or someone you love and there's, there's people in their family um, that has caused some adversity within y'all's friendship or relationship, it becomes a little strain, you know what I mean? So <clears throat> the things, the thing with Easy and Natalie is that Easy uh, and Natalie were friends. Um, they were friends, they collaborated, they became best friends, then they, become, they became lovers. Now, Natalie is, um, now she considers herself a lesbian woman, but before that, she was considered uh, heterosexual she was a straight woman easy is a masculine stud like myself um, I, I like to call our masculine women masculine of center MOC is what they call it and so with that being said <clears throat> if you are you know straight or heterosexual your family has a different expectation for you um, off the jump they just have different expectations from you so I can imagine if I can really imagine if Easy and Natalie got together, started off as friends. Everybody, you know, Natalie's family, they all collaborated together. They all collaborated together and they, you know, Natalie got in the picture that became friends and it became something else after that. Look, you know, you never know who your next soulmate is. Um, you know, me personally, I, my love style is a little different from other people. Um, but I, you know, your soulmate comes in different moments in your life. So you can have, you know, for me personally, you can have, you know, as many soulmates as you see fit based on your lifespan and based on your experiences through, through life. So, you know, I'm just saying not to say, you never know when these situations happen. It's not like it was planned. And then, you know, you know, people change, you know, feelings change, people evolve, people are more open-minded, uh, whichever, whatever level of life you are on. Um, people evolve um, negatively or positively and their friendship became more you know um, that's nobody's business but theirs they're they're grown adults they pay their own bills they make their own money and due to the uh, foundation of Natalie's family and I support all of them I love them all what it, you know what it looks like is that you know Josh is the more the father figure he's the older brother he's a father figure so his opinion matters and if they have that type of family foundation where their opinion matters depending on what they do um, that typically does not change and it seems like to me you know whenever they they decided to be together there was some commotion there was some drama and it seems like because I don't know them personally um, we follow them We've they they've shot out Anala for her birthday. The the um the family, everybody, you know they're they're loving. They're amazing people. But it's it just seems like within that issue, it looks like 
Natalie set the record straight. Like Natalie told them what it's gonna be, what it is, and people had to fall in line. And I and I'm not trying to be funny, but I suggest everyone does that in their relationships because your relationships dynamics um um that's something you're gonna experience throughout your whole life. You know what I'm saying? That's something you're gonna experience throughout your whole life, and that's not for anybody else to determine determine for you but you even if you're not in the right mindset you know um everyone makes their own choices and you know to dwell on what someone else is doing just doesn't make sense and it just just doesn't help the family dynamic but based on their family dynamic it just looks like josh is the the father big brother the opinion matters um the opinions matter and that's kind of where the commotion started, but it seems like now everyone is is is, is uh, operating amicably. You know, everyone's um, getting together now. It's not it's not separated, and they're getting along. They just they just hung out for Christmas, um, and and you know, at, at some point, Easy probably wasn't allowed to go over there. But like I said, Natalie he set the record straight, and she told them, look, if you, she probably said it. Just seems like to me, because because I, I do feel like Natalie is. Um, she's strong on how she feels. Um, she doesn't waver on how she feels. And um, she's true to how she feels internally because she's very evolved uh, spiritually and she's grounded. And, if, and I'm pretty sure she, she kind of operates like me. So anything heavy or doesn't feel harmonious, she will probably exclude that situation. And if it feels like drama, she doesn't feel like, she doesn't seem like she's a person that would deal with that type of stuff. So it seems like everybody's getting along well. And you know, Josh has uh, done several other videos, uh, bad mouthing, like his stepson. And it, it's supposed to be like something funny. I mean, the, um, the stepson actually did one on him. So it's kind of like this thing that he's doing where he's just talking about people out loud. And to be truthful, to be honest with you, the things that he that he's saying are so true and so valid. It's hard to know what the truth really is. But at the same time, if you if you know that a person's joking, then you know they're joking. I feel like Easy Easy knows the nature of his jokes and how his jokes go. Um, so I'm not saying that she's taking it too personal um but i am saying she has a right to feel away uh, because of what has <laughs> what has been happening so i'm going to take a look um and i want you guys to watch with me um uh, let me know how you guys feel about this um so i'm going to stream it up on the tv and you guys are going to watch it um you guys are going to watch it as well and just let me know how you feel what you think and i don't know Eb hopefully ebony comes pretty soon and she watches it as well um, but make sure you guys subscribe, um, you know, comment, let me know what you think. Oh, you're too egotistical. So. You're controlling. And it's that you say, bro. I can't be with somebody that got a brother like this and you're not checking them, bro. Natalie, do you not see a problem in this? That's facts. <sighs> uh, now, I think, look, I'm going to talk too much. Hold on. Bro. The fact that you even thought that that was cool, you know what, look. So, I don't know if you guys seen or even, if you guys are even subscribed to them, but pretty much Natalie's brother thought it was cool to pretty much talk shit about me on his YouTube channel for a little video I did, okay? Now, I could come in here and just, matter of fact, let me set this camera up, bro. Oh, like, I don't even know how to start this video, bro. Because it's like, it pisses me off. And y'all know, in order for me to lose my shit, it has to be that bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm a goofy ass person. I could take a joke. Especially with, with the shit that me and Natalie been through. You know what I'm saying? Like all these pranks and stuff. Like I can literally, obviously take a joke. Or I have to suck it up because that's what we signed up for. You know what I'm saying? But you, Josh, Natalie's brother, like... The fact that you thought it was even cool to talk shit about me and then post that shit on your YouTube channel, and then now I'm seeing the comments. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. What What's in the comments, y'all? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. What's in the comments? I'm not going to get into it too deep because this is impromptu. Um, like I said, my family ain't with me. I just I felt like I needed to say something, and I don't even react much by myself because I really don't get in people's business because I got my own life. Um, but... 
What, what's in the comments, y'all? Give me, give me the tea. What's in the comments? Let's watch this. You see, that sparked a nerve in me, and that triggered me to feel some sort of way. And at that moment, there ain't no jokes, bro. There's no jokes. What are you doing? So, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, uh, a couple of days. By the way, there is jokes. And even if you take it serious, it's still a joke. If it's initially a joke. It's, I love you easy, but that's, that's the truth. It's still a joke, even if you took it personally. Even if the context was a little bit overboard. If it, came, if it started off as a joke, the camera's on. You know, it's still, still a joke. You know, don't not denounce any feelings. But let's watch it. Days ago, Natalie's brother thought it was cool to prank me. So pretty much in the prank he calls me. And we're supposed mind you, we're supposed to be going to his house, you know what I'm saying, to have like a game night or something they invited me to. So literally, uh, Natalie, you know, she calls me like, yo, you wanna have a game night? I'm like, all right, cool. Like, you know, there's been drama with the family, but I'm always trying to make sure like, I'm like, all right, like, let me put my, you know, pride aside. Let me put my ego aside and, you know, suck it up, okay? So he decided to pull a prank on me. And the prank was, I guess, uh, uh, like he accidentally calls me and they start talking shit about me, talking crap about me, okay? And then I hear everything. The things that he is saying, like, and it's not just me, bro. Like, he knew what he was saying. The shit that he was saying in his video was, I feel like, actually real stuff that he felt about. Because of what happened, bro, you know what happened a couple, bro, you know what happened a year ago, bro. That's why me and you not even cool. Okay, so for you to say the stuff that you said and then thinking it was like, bro, that shit wasn't okay. And first of all, I've barely been on your channel. So for you to think that it's cool to prank me, like, you know, we ain't even really hashed out, hashed out what happened. Okay, so immediately when I hear all this stuff. Girl, what she said? Y'all ain't hashed out what happened. Now, if you guys are following them, you guys know that Natalie's birthday came up. They celebrated Natalie's birthday. Um, there were some other events, you know, Mama Rhonda came through. Everybody kind of was at the table, but nothing was, you know, you could tell, the, you could see the energy between them two. Um, so, I mean, not my business, you know, not my circus, you know what I mean? But let's check it out. Stuff that he's saying, I'm like, bro, like, what are you talking about, you know? And at first, it's just like, all right, bro, like, whatever, bro. Like, Natalie, control your brother. Like, he's, he's literally talking crap. I just want to talk to him. Like, for you to be comfortable enough. Like, y'all seen the video? You to be comfortable enough to talk to your homie about it, whether I know it's real or not. You got to understand how I'm processing this. You know what True. I'm saying? So, uh, to go back to the video. Like, y'all like y'all seen the video. So, you know, I'm talking to Natalie, and I'm like, all right, bro, I'm hot. I'm heated. You know, and like I said, for me to get heated, like, I'm, I'm there. I'm literally always on 10 when it comes to happy energy. So, That's I'm true. telling Natalie, you know true. what? I'm going to calm down. I just want to talk to him, all right? What really went overboard was the fact that I got there and I told Natalie, like, I don't want nobody talking about you behind my back, especially your family. We got too much drama, for, for and, and this is too sensitive for you to be talking about, true. Me, okay? So, when I get there, I'm going to have a conversation with you, bro. That's what I'm going to do. But the fact that I get there and you're still talking shit about me, understand what I'm thinking. We're not that cool. Oh, you're not that cool. Okay, wait a minute. First thing I want to say is, if you guys watched the video, he was talking on the phone, talking shit. It was intended for her to hear it. Then he get, she goes over there. Eventually, she hang up the phone, but she get there. And Natalie doesn't know what to do. Natalie's like confused, you know, because probably at the same time she doesn't know. She's not aware that either she knows how he feels and he's just not saying it or she didn't know that's how he felt. And she's still oblivious and she doesn't know how to really. She looks like the person in the middle. If you guys watched it, um, she looks like the person in the middle and she's not happy. I mean, she's not standing up for the situation. She's just trying to diffuse the situation and I can understand like we're only one person there's only so many energies we can give at at one time and she was doing the best she could I think because she loves her family she loves easy she doesn't want you know she probably I can imagine at day one when the drama started how much in the middle she was and she just really tried to diffuse the situation um and you know me being a life and business coach i don't take sides i could understand people's moment at that time 
Um, I could never, I could, I could probably tell a person when they're wrong, but I would rather tell a person how to fix it for next time, you know. Um, but you know, Natalie did the best she could. Easy was ca as calm as she could. Josh was just kind of like listening to her when he when he opened the door. He was just listening to her talk because at the same time it's a prank, so he's gonna let her just like talk because it's part of the prank. Um, but you could tell it didn't end well because he didn't exit. She didn't sign out because she got pranked. It just cut out. So you know it was going to be some drama. So You were trying to make things work, bro, but you had to spark that. It's too soon, my guy. So, you know, I got heated. I got elevated or whatever. My actions and how I reacted, I don't take shit back at all. And, and this even reminds me, bro, like we just had Christmas together. Bro. And no one in history and y'all on YouTube don't see everything. Yeah, so when you don't. see us actually together, know that's a huge step. And when I came to Christmas, to their Christmas, and you can literally see how genuine it's like, all right, let me put all the bullshit aside, mm -hmm. and let's, it's Christmas. Come on. We can all be cool, my guy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, having a good time, and then you say stuff like this, to me, it's way too soon, bro. So you're even playing with me like that. And then when I'm telling you, like, and you see how upset I am, bro, it's a prank, it's a, no, bro, the shit that you were saying in that video, True. that's some of the stuff that happened while we're not cool right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that night, the real reason, the real reason, bro, that's what triggered me. You know the stuff that you were saying that day the was same the same thing shit you were saying before. that night while we're not cool. So, of course, I'm going to feel some sort of way. That's like one of your, like, one of your friends. You know, one of them friends that be like, say, talk shit and be like, no, nah, I'm just playing. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not, bro. I don't care about a prank, bro. Man. You know, bro. That's why I was so heated. Not because it was a prank, bro, but, but the stuff that you were saying. Why we stopped the, the family project, all of us. Well, it was mm -hmm. all of us. We started the family project. Me, you, Natalie, Zasha, Isaiah. You know what I'm saying? That's how it started. It wasn't no just y'all three over there. Because if y'all don't know, we all had that. Where was Easy and Natalie? Out of nowhere. This is why the family project didn't work, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, the shit that I had to go through, that we had to go through, bro, you're too egotistical. You're controlling. And the shit that you say, bro, come on, man. And you know, bro, we got into a huge-ass argument that ended our friendship, bro. You were like my best friend, bro. Hmm, I called you I my that. brother. At a point, That's you know, in, in Jamaican terms, I was like father. Mm. Somebody I look up to, bro. Yeah. And the fact That's that true. we still ain't even hashed that out, you think that it's cool to prank me and say the stuff that you're saying when the beef is not really like, all right, let's handle this, bro. Huh? Bro, true. what the? Bro, like. Like I said, I don't take sides. But Easy's very genuine. And I, I know that's why uh, Natalie and Easy are like kindred spirits. But, you know, at the same time, she's right. Because, like she said in Jamaica term, it's fodder. And I remember, like, when she used to do, she used to, like, do pranks where she was texting him or saying certain things. Um, his name was Josh Fodder. I remember that. I think she had a heart next to it. I mean, they were very close. They did a lot of pranks together. They did a lot of stuff together. Um, they did start the channel together. Once again, there's even videos with Easy and Josh. And no, I'm sorry, Easy and Isaiah when he was much younger. Um, and once again, we as the people, as the YouTube viewers and supporters and subscribers, we miss you guys together. And it really sucks that everything had to be split off. Um, and, you know, but at the same time, it's probably a good thing because... Easy and Natalie are focusing on themselves. They're focusing on their brand, and Josh is focusing on his family, his his family, his newborns, his small children. You know, raising his oldest son, um, and that may been you know that may have been like a situation that should have been what it was. So they can just separate and figure it out on their own, and focus on their brand, their business, their family, and their relationships, and hopefully come back together. Um, I don't know if Josh is going to respond to this, and he normally doesn't, um, but he probably should because, if that, you know, I don't know if you guys are um, Justine and Brian, it's Natalie's sister, 
and Justina is the sister. Brian is the boyfriend. Um, and they're having some situations in their relationships, relationships and they're very transparent about it. Um, and um, I mean, they're able to talk about it in front of the camera. Um, but even Brian said there were some things about himself that he started to see that he didn't want to be in the future, especially, you know, with children being involved in marriage, being involved. Um, and, you know, maybe Josh has maybe, you know, taken that time out for himself to figure it out because, but if you're focusing, if you're focusing on your foundation, like your home and your relationships, you know, that should be the same going into your other relationships. Like you, you know, you have to be humble in every aspect of your life. If you got the ego going on in the house and, and your business relationships, it probably, it probably is at home, you know? So, you know, hopefully he responds and hopefully maybe out of this they can talk about it on camera or not that's not our business um you know but you know hopefully josh does respond to it and um like she said the things that he said that he has said is hurtful and you know i just i just wonder did it become hurtful before easy and ali decided to be together because like i said they did pranks they they i mean josh he talks crazy but he's not ruthless but he may be behind the camera. Behind, I'm, I'm sorry, he may be off camera. I mean, you know, he, you know, he got the Jamaican blood in him. He, but who knows what he says? Um, and you know, no matter where you're from or who you've been raised by, it's, it's still not right. Um, but I'm just curious to know, you know what I mean? Um, did, was it drama when they started to separate because they said they had creative differences, or was it hurt like? They, they said they had created differences before Easy and Natalie decided to be in a relationship. But after that, did it become hurtful maybe when Easy decided he wanted to talk to Natalie? Or, like, he, you know what I mean? Like, that's my question. Like, when did it become, like, you know, emotionally too much? You know? So, let's watch. I'm tired of holding my tongue, bro. I'm tired of holding my tongue. Okay? This is why shit doesn't work out. If you guys know, y'all know that there's obviously something going on between me and Josh. That we don't even have to say it. Y'all only get to see 10 to 15 minutes of our life. There's 24 hours in a day. This is why there's so much drama, bro. Like, what is you doing, bro? I swear to God, after seeing that video, it's like, there ain't no limits, bro. There ain't no limits, man. Natalie and I, the drama, that the, the almost possibilities, the breakups due to the view, bro. We possibly won't work out, bro. I don't even know if I can do this anymore, bro. Like the shit, the drama, like back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Like how am I supposed to be with somebody that got a brother that can't just control himself? It's too controlling, egotistical, bro. Like, don't give a fuck about me. You anything. can, you can just move you know around. What I'm don't so care. Yeah. Huh? How am I supposed to like really I, like Natalie, bro, I don't know, man. Like, you need to control your brother, bro. Like, control him, bro. Because this me and you, like, I've been dealing with this shit for so long. How am I supposed to keep dealing with this, bro? Yeah. Like, I don't even know, bro. Like, I swear, bro, I'm supposed to be going to freaking Miami. I need to leave. And I got to leave to freaking hear this. What, I'm supposed to be Miami, going, like, what? What's the Miami? Come on, man. Dude, bro, I swear to God, you don't be thinking, bro. Like, bro, this shit, bro, I don't even know where this shit's about to go because, bro, I swear, bro, like, I'm on, I'm on a different type of time, bro. Different type of level, bro. Different type of level, man. I am so heated, y'all. Like, you know, bro, what happened that night. You know why we not here, bro. I don't even know. She don't see it. And how much more do I got to take for shit? I can't keep doing this, bro. Like, y'all seen the video? Y'all hear my side of the video? Like, period, bro. I don't know if I can do this anymore. I can't be with somebody that got a brother like this and you're not checking them, bro. Natalie, do you not see the problem in this? Bro, what are you doing? All right, well, you got it. So you have it. Um... So uh, like and subscribe, let me know what you guys think. See you on the next one. Peace.